Welcome to Too Long Didn't Read, Episode 2. I can't count the number of times I've been on prepping forums, watching videos, or reading online, and heard something along the lines of, you can only use 7 mil bags if you want to store food long term. As someone who started his business before 7 mil bags became a thing, I kind of shake my head when I hear it. I'll make a broad statement, and folks are welcome to debate me in the comments. You are using 7 mil bags for all of your food storage. You're paying too much for Mylar bags. And this is coming from someone who sells a lot of 7 mil bags. Here's two reasons why. First, the barrier properties to moisture and oxygen are essentially the same in both 5 mil bags and 7 mil bags. They are pretty much the same with the last generation of 4.5 mil bags. Take a look at my side panel. Now, to clarify what you were looking at. The reason most of these numbers you see in some places on the internet top out at 0.005 or 0.006 cc's is not because all the bags are the same, but because the testing labs will usually test each sample for a number of days, but no more. So what you are seeing is that's the best rating you can get in that number of days. And both 5 and 7 mil bags rate it, and the old 4.5 mil bags come very close. The reason why is that good 5 and 7 mil bags have a full aluminum foil layer of 0. 0.00035 mils, and this is the primary barrier in a mylar bag, not mylar itself. Oxygen and moisture do not travel through aluminum foil, hence the similar level of protection. Now, as you store food and handle your bags, and this is any bags, they will develop tiny pinholes where oxygen and moisture can pass through, but they are such a small percentage of the bag, they don't impact shelf life in a significant way. Please note, a pinhole is just a spot where the foil has flaked away. It's not the same as a puncture that goes all the way through a bag. As pinholes are one of, if not the most common questions regarding Mylar bags, I'll be doing a video on just this subject in the near future. Good bags like ours all have five or seven layers, so there are still four or six barrier layers, even when there are pinholes in the foil layer. Second, if you use an even thinner bag, say a 3.5 mil bag, if your oxygen absorber is sufficient, your food is going to be fine. That 3.5 mil bag is only going to let through 7.3 cc's of oxygen per year versus your one-fifth of a cc per year for your 5 or 7 mil bag. If you are using any of the oxygen absorbers we sell, and especially our slow-acting absorbers, you will generally have at least 300 cc's of excess capacity after you finish packing your food. It would take 41 years for that to be depleted, even with just a 3.5 mil bag. So why do so many people think you have to use 7 mil bags? Almost 100% of the reason is that is what comes with a Harvest Right freeze dryer. People have made the assumption that if that's what Harvest Right sent, that's what they should use. I've talked with Harvest Right, and according to my contacts, there's no specific reasons that bag was chosen. Nor should there be, considering there is more food stored in 3.5 and, and 5 mil bags across the world than there is in 7 mil bags. I've personally watched others open 25-year food in 3.5 and mil bags, and I've opened my own 17-year storage in 3.5 and mil bags, and it smells and tastes as fresh as the food I put up last year. So the good news is that no matter what mil bag you are using, if it's sealed right with an appropriate oxygen absorber, you're good. There is one best use case for 7 mil bags, and that is for sharp foods. 7 mil bags do have much better tensile strength, and Shield Pro Mylar bags in particular are even better than our competitors. So if you are storing pokey pasta or freeze-dried foods with very rough edges, sure, use a 7 mil bag. Otherwise, my advice to is to start testing some lighter bags, and you're always welcome to ask me to throw in some 5 mil samples when you buy 7 mil bags from us. How much money could you save? On one gallon bags, the 5 mil option is about one third less costly. If you store regularly, that's real money that be, could be used on food to put in the bags instead. Drop your questions or comments in the comments section and I'll be glad to follow up. Thanks.